Welcome back to Money Makes. My name is Callie and today we are going to be making a pumpkin cake. So if you follow my channel then you have probably already noticed that maybe a couple weeks ago I shared a pumpkin cake recipe which is absolutely delicious. It's a two layer pumpkin cake that's topped with a delicious cream cheese frosting and check out that recipe. I'll link in the description box below. But this pumpkin cake is a little bit different as it's baked in an 8x8 inch pan. It's a single layer cake instead of a cream cheese frosting. We're going to top it with a chocolate frosting which I absolutely love. It's one of my favorites and you are going to love it. And I tweaked it a little bit here and there and I just can't wait to share it with you. So let's get right into it. But before we begin, as always, please remember to subscribe, like, share, chat in the comment section and follow me on social media for more recipes and additional content. So let's get right into it. These are the ingredients that we are going to be using. I have some brown sugar, granulated sugar, pure pumpkin puree. I have a little bit of buttermilk, vegetable oil or canola oil, either will do. I have some vanilla, an egg here. I have flour, baking powder, baking soda, and a combination of spices. I'm using cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg. You could use uh, uh, pumpkin pie spice that you buy at the grocery store. You could use ginger, cardamom, any kind of warm pumpkin pie spices will do. A little bit of ginger maybe. I have some salt and we will go over the ingredients for the chocolate frosting when the time comes. So let's get right into it. First things first, get your oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which I've already done. Um, and next, what we're gonna do is just give our dry ingredients a mix, which I have already done, and let's continue. So I'm gonna grab my wet ingredients, which includes both types of sugar, and to this, I'm gonna add in my egg. And just give this a whisk to combine. I'm using an electric whisk, you could use a hand whisk, you could do this in a, a stand mixer, whatever you wanna do. And you know what, let's throw out our vanilla, why not? And I'm just gonna blend this up until it is nice and creamy. Okay, next goes in the oil. Instead of using neutral oil, like vegetable oil, canola oil, those are both neutral oils, you could actually use extra virgin olive oil or just regular like light olive oil, regular olive oil, um, which I also do sometimes. And typically you don't want to use olive oil in a lot of desserts, not all of them, because it has more of a flavor than say a neutral oil, but it, it the flavor of the olive oil is completely covered up by all of the ingredients in this recipe. So you could use that as well, whatever you want to do. But for now, I'm gonna give this a whisk until it's nice and combined. Okay, so next goes in the pure pumpkin puree. And by the way, you know this is gonna be an incredibly moist and soft and fluffy cake by the ingredients that are in it. The buttermilk, the oil, even the pumpkin puree. Of course, that's gonna add the pumpkin flavor, but it's also gonna add a ton of moisture. And I am all, I will say this now and I'll say it again, the texture of any baked good is just as important as the flavor. So just know that any of my cakes, any of my baked goods are gonna be so moist and delicious. So now I'm gonna give this a mix until it's combined. Okay, so to finish this off, I'm gonna throw in my dry ingredients along with the buttermilk. Buttermilk always in cakes, as well as some salt. You always wanna be salting your desserts. I'm going to mix this up until it's nice and creamy. And remember, like any cake, you don't wanna overmix. So once all the ingredients are combined, stop mixing. Okay, this looks good. So next, what I'm gonna do, just to finish this off, is just grab my spatula and run it around the bottom and the sides of the bowl just to ensure all the ingredients are nice and incorporated. Sometimes they get kind of stuck to the bottom and the sides. This looks good. So I'm gonna clean up and then let's finish this up. Okay, so here I have my eight by eight inch pan that I just buttered, lined with parchment paper, and now let's continue. So. I'm just gonna add all of the ingredients in, and like I said earlier, my oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is gonna bake in the oven for about 30 minutes. You'll know when it's done baking once you insert a knife or a skewer into the center and it comes out clean or with a few crumbs. So I'm gonna bake this up, let it cool completely before we begin the frosting. Okay, so we are back. My cake baked for exactly 36 minutes and it has cooled completely. It is so crucial that you let cakes cool completely before adding the frosting. That's like the easiest way you could mess up a cake because if you add frosting to a warm cake, it's just gonna melt the frosting. So be sure that that's cool. And so as far as the chocolate frosting goes, the ingredients that you are going to need are some uh, powdered sugar, a little bit of salt, cocoa powder, melted butter, heavy cream. I have a little bit of vanilla extract in there as well. That's why it looks like that. Okay, so you're just gonna add all of the ingredients. I just added the butter and, and go the 
heavy cream and vanilla. And so I'm just going to whisk all of this together until it's nice and smooth and creamy, top it on the cake, and then I'm gonna give you a close up of just how absolutely incredible and fluffy and soft and absolutely perfect this pumpkin cake really is. Okay, so as always, for the full written recipe and instructions, head to my blog, moodymixrecipes.com. I'll put the link for that in the description box below. Click on the link, the recipe will come right up and make this pumpkin cake. I promise you're gonna love it and let me know what you think because I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much, I'll see you next time.